Hi guys and welcome back to my wedding makeup prep. So I started off with the Lush Million Dollar Moisturiser. It is incredible for dewy skin and that is exactly what I wanted. So super radiant, I just put this all over the skin. Just put in a little bit of some eye drops just to make sure my eyes didn't get irritated during the day. And then went in with this incredible new YSL primer that I've got. It has little like gold specks in it. So again, more radiance. Here I'm just mixing the Laura Mercier Silk Cream in Beige Ivory with Cream Ivory and then the Becca Shimmering Skin Enhancer. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, absolutely beautiful. Again, I was just going for this ultra radiant skin. So mixing these three together will provide an amazing coverage and base because Laura Mercier is incredible. And then the Becca Shimmering Skin Enhancer just adds that little bit more of a glow. Here I'm just using the MAC Prep and Prime in Light Boost just to highlight underneath my eyes. And then I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC, no, NW20. And I'm using a Real Technique sponge there just to really dab all of that in to make sure it stays on the skin but really covers all of my dark circles and any discolorations. Okay, my favourite lip balm ever, the by Terry Balm de Rose. It's just so beautiful. I'm just prepping the lips with that first of all. Here I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder with the Real Techniques NYX Picks brush. I think this is the Duo Fiber brush and I'm using that just to set all of that concealer into place and make it perfect. And here I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette, the powder version, and using my MAC large contour brush just to contour that into my cheekbones in the usual way I do. I mean a lot of this is very similar to how I usually do my makeup, just enhanced a little bit. So I'm just going over my cheek hollows there and around the side of my temples just to make myself look super bronzed. Contouring, contouring, contouring. And again, just a little bit down the side of my nose. This is a Tarte brush. I'm using a few Tarte brushes in this tutorial and they're so gorgeous, like beautiful. Rubbing that in, just going over it with my brush to make sure it's blended. And then here I'm using the Hourglass Lighting Palette. Oh, it's just so beautiful. This is like the bronzy, um, the bronzy powder out of there. It's just so gorgeous for adding even more glow. I'm just adding more and more glow as I go on. Here's the Tom Ford bronzer in gold dust, again just for a bit more of a golden bronze all over the skin and to blend everything in that I've done so far, just using a Real Techniques powder brush for that. And this highlight is so gorgeous, I mean can you see how much that catches the lights? It's just beautiful and this is a Shiseido Trio Enhancing Blush, so you can use it as a blush as well but I just love it as a highlight, it's absolutely stunning. Just using that with the Zoeva Fan Brush I think it's called. And here I'm just adding even more highlight with the Kevin Aquan Candlelight um, Highlight. Again, all the links will be down below by the way. My favourite blush of all time, the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek Swirl and Pop, is it? In First Love. It's so natural, it's just stunning. It's perfect for my skin tone, I find. Here I'm just prepping the eyes, adding some eyelid primer with the Balm. Eyelid primer. And here I'm using both the Lorac 1 and Lorac 2 palettes because as you know, I just love those. Using a Zoeva flat brush here just to pat in the shade beige. I think it is from the Lorac 2 palette. And then here I'm using Mauve, which is from the first Lorac palette, which is it's quite a dull purple mauve shade, as the name would suggest, but it's perfect for me. I mean, you know I love to use purples and I've used this probably a lot of times a lot of times before. But I do love this just in the crease of my eyes. And here I'm just going back to the Lorac 2 and using the shade Buff, which I usually always use on the Sigma E40 brush and I really blend that into my brow bone and just to make sure that all of my eyeshadows blended down really, really well. I'm just kind of going back with both colours, kind of building up the shade, making sure they're blended perfectly. I did this for quite a while actually, even though this is massively sped up. <laughs> I mean, I think this probably took me about an hour and a half, to be honest, in total, because I was just kind of taking my time and chilling with it. And here is the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I think this is in soft brown, don't quote me, it'll be down below anyway, but I just spent a bit of time really working in and making sure the shape of my brows was right and it just all, all little hairs were added in and just a bit more perfected. Thank you. 
And plus, because it has a spoolie on the other end, you just keep brushing it through and making it more and more natural as you go. But I do love a strong brow, so this is what I was going for, really. And here I'm just using the Benefit Speed Brow, just to add a little bit of gel to keep it in place. And then I decided to use the Gimme Brow in the dark colour, just in the very front of my brows, just to add a little bit more definition to them. And then here I'm using the Nude Sticks in Cream, the Nude Sticks pencil, just to add a little bit of lighter shade into my waterline. And here I'm using MAC Coffee Eyeliner, just to line my upper lash line, really working that into the lashes. And then I decided that I was going to use this shade, I think it's called Chocolate, from the Lorac 2 palette. And I'm using a tiny little Zoeva brush here, just to wing that out and work over top of the Coffee by MAC just to add a really sort of diffused and subtle, well, somewhat subtle, brown eyeliner line. I just didn't want a really harsh black line for the wedding and this worked so beautifully. I really love the finish. And here's me finishing my second eye and I'm also using a Real Techniques brush there as well. Here are some of my favourite lashes. These are from Esquido. Um, I love so many of their lashes. I'll leave the exact um, type down below of which I use. These are a little bit bigger than the ones I usually use because I fancied using something a little larger and because I was also doing my mum's makeup this day and I brought two pairs and I let her have the smaller pair because I knew she didn't want anything too massive so I went for these but I thought they were absolutely beautiful, just so enhancing, really natural kind of shape to them, they're absolutely stunning. So I'm just working those into the lashes using some tweezers, as I always do, and duo lash glue. I remember the longer that you leave the glue to set on the lashes before you put them on, you will find this so much easier. Just let it set a little bit more first. Here I'm using MAC Saw Lip Liner as always. I just love this as my liner before I add more nudes over the top. And here I'm just filling in the lips before adding the Hourglass Nude shade onto the lips and here I added a bit more of a cocktail of lipstick so I went in then with the Tom Ford nude vanilla I just wanted something a little bit more nude and then over the top again with the Urban Decay lip gloss all the shades I'll leave down below just to make sure that I've got them all right for you and that was that done so moving on to hair I decided I want to have a bit of a centre parting with some curls so I used a GHD curl hold spray all over the hair before then using the Lee Stafford twisted curling wand I think this is called but it's by far probably my favourite wand to use it just really volumizes each curl each one is totally different so they're not uniform and when you brush them out my hair just goes like boom I just I love it so so much so here's just a bit of a speed tutorial of the way I'm wrapping it around the wand and then I twist it off the wand as well because you can't just let the hair slip off this because of the shape of it so I split my hair into a centre parting which I don't usually do and I did all of my hair as you can see it's brand new dyed so it's nice and purple on the top going down into a white lilac ombre which I love so here I've just brushed it out with my tangle teaser push the back of it back to create a really nice kind of crown at the back and then I'm pulling two sides back and using some little purple Kirby grips to hold each side in place and then adding some hairspray so again I'm taking this side I'm going to use a tiny little Kirby grip to clip that symmetrically at the back and that was the hair finished again a little bit more hairspray to keep it in place and then I forgot that I also had this beautiful little hairband to wear so Alex just helped me to put that into my hair and tie it in with a little ribbon and that was from ASOS again I'll leave the link down below but it was so pretty to finish with look at those eyelashes though oh so pretty And here I am, just at the wedding reception in my misguided dress. Hopefully I still have this, I'll leave a link down below if I can find it. I'm also wearing the most beautiful Cinderella shoes from Gina Shoes, um, encrusted with Swarovski crystals, they're just absolutely perfect. And I'm wearing a little vintage styler clutch bag and a beautiful little bracelet that my mum got me as well. So I'll leave all the links down below. Really hope you enjoy this guys, bye!